Hello everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I am back with another crochet tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to do the extended double crochet stitch. This stitch adds just a wee bit of additional height to your traditional double crochet and it is super easy to get a hang of. Personally, I like this stitch. Um, to replace treble crochets in most instances because it is again taller than your traditional double crochet but the stitches are also closer together so without further ado I'm going to show you guys how to do this basic crochet stitch alright so to create this stitch pattern what I want to do is bring my row up to height as you guys can see I have this first row already completed I'm going to chain a total of three one two three turn my work here and I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook not into the base of this chain three but into the next stitch over insert my hook I want to yarn over and pull up a loop so that I have three loops on my hook now what I want to do is yarn over and pull through one loop which is essentially a chain one and then I want to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, in order to complete that stitch. And there we have our first extended double crochet stitch. Now I'm going to simply repeat that. I'm going to yarn over, look to my next stitch, insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, so that I have three loops on my hook here. I'm going to yarn over, pull through one stitch, and then I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I will continue this all the way across my row till I reach the end.
and now I'm ready to work into this last chain at the end of my rope. Again, that is yarning over, inserting my hook, yarning over, pulling up a loop so that I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through one stitch, creating a chain. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And this is what my second row looks like. Right? And you would continue doing this for each row until you reach the desired length of your project. Alright, and I have worked up a couple more rows so you guys can get a better visual of what this stitch looks like. As you guys can see, it is a very simple stitch and again, I tend to prefer this method over treble crochet simply because the stitches lay closer together and I feel like it takes a little bit more to stretch them out. I hope today's video was helpful for you guys. If so, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future crochet content. Don't forget to check me out on other social media. I am most active on the Instagram page, Infinity Crafting Co. Also, don't forget to check out my blog site so you don't miss out on future crafty news as well as pattern updates and releases. And until next time, guys, happy making.